Okay guys, welcome back. I know I was supposed to be uploading a lot of YouTubes. This is a highly requested thing for my life. <laughs> I don't know why. People are always like, Drew, do a YouTube. But guys, listen, I'm telling you, my life is so freaking boring. Just cause I talk a lot of shit and I talk a lot doesn't mean I should be doing YouTube. I suck at it. <laughs> I suck at it all no I'm just kidding um so yeah I sucked at that um little known fact I just got diagnosed with ADHD so this explains why I cannot keep up with the little thing called YouTube um yeah so um hopefully I'm gonna stick to it this time but I have a lot of time in the world right now I'm staying in Arkansas temporarily so I can save every little penny so hopefully when I go back to New York, I can have a one bedroom apartment. As some of you guys know, I have, I had a roommate who, and she's leaving the United States. So I um so sad. Every time I think about it, I wanna cry. I'm thinking about it now. I miss her cute little booty. I used to grab her little booty. Anyways, um, um anyways, so, yeah, I am hopefully getting an apartment when I get back. The rent is supposed to get cheaper, but every time I look every day, it's not that much cheaper, guys. I'm like, what is this? Like, everyone's like, the rent is dropping 30%. I'm like, where? Where? Anyways, so, anyways, yeah. Guys, some updates. So, I have the ADHD thing told you that guys that I got diagnosed with that I'm taking Adderall for that occasionally I the jury's still out on that I just don't 100% know if I love it I'm on it today but I still feel like I have ADHD Hi. when I'm on it sorry I'm at my sister's house so my niece and nephews are everywhere um so I don't 100% know if I love it you know what I mean anyways I still feel like I'm all over the place just do you understand like what's going on right now do you get a sample of my brain anyways um that um yeah so also I am oh I ended terms with my agency that I was with um the agent that I worked with he's super super great um nothing it will at all um I like really respect like what he did for you know his models and you know he really worked super hard with like black models and you know who's a boutique agency and you know it was super great um I think like for what I need and stuff I think I definitely you know maybe need a different agency and you know like the vision that I have so you know nothing ill will at all so Definitely looking for different agencies. And God, let me tell you, I have applied to like 15,000. I want to cry. It's like the hardest thing right now. They're like, everybody wants a plus size model, this size. And I'm like, I am the size. I'm beautiful. What the fuck do you guys want? I genuinely don't understand. Um, Yeah. So it's been a struggle. But you know what? It's like you either keep pushing or you don't like you got to find a way to deal with it or you don't or you get up reinvent the will so this is kind of why i'm still doing the youtube because i'm like you know what you know if that doesn't work out then i can do youtube and hopefully get some sponsorships and everything so basically um what i really want to do with my youtube also i'm going to keep trying with modeling like no matter what like i have been enjoying all of the plus size content lately like wow like all these plus size bitches in the editorials these bitches are looking gorgeous like yes like i am loving it like they're in high-end designers with great like high-end photographers like beautiful like covers and everything so i am loving this like moment we're having right now not I don't want it to be a moment. I want it to be an evolution. Like I want it to keep happening over and over till we get like truly what we like need from this industry. So anyways, I, um, I'm loving it. So 
But what I want to do with my YouTube, um, I understand that like part of this is like if I do do this and I do become somewhat relevant and I get like certain like brain deals and all this stuff, it may not be from like high end places necessarily. And I get like, you know, pretty little thing, nasty gown, a lot of stuff. And they're not the most sustainable and they're fast fashion and all this stuff. And I'm starting not to. I'm starting to not really want to be a part of that culture anymore. And um, I definitely like more substantial things like my accessories to be like higher end for sure. Like my clothes to be higher end. You know, it sucks when you're plus size, you do have to tend to go to like fast fashion places. But you know, there's starting to be places that are brands that have extended their sizing and it's like, better quality and you can keep it longer and you can kind of wear it so many different ways. I'm already the type of person who likes to wear stuff so many different ways. So I don't really have to have like everything all the time. So, you know, I'm, I understand that. It's like part of the process. But then like I also for sure want to become like one of the, I would love to influence people to kind of take care of themselves and get to the root of how we used to be or not I don't want to say how we used to be or because I think life is always ever evolving I don't think it's like get back to how we used to be I think you know I think we've taken something from the past and we've changed it you understand but I think I want to get to this point where we um where I can influence people to like oh like you know you should take care of yourself this way like you should go to a doctor for this or you should like use this type of like skincare like don't like cut through the hype like straight to the point or like you know like for your hair you should do this or like for eating you should do this like I think there's so much like crap out there that's just like not true it's not relevant and it's just to sell you things do you understand and I think a lot of times people either do it for a check or even sometimes the influencers are ignorant and unknowledgeable so they just sell it to you you know what i mean because that brand is marketed to them so i would love to like kind of like be an influence to people and kind of be like okay like this is how you like better take care of yourself like and not like be fooled by everything because honestly people like i'm not kidding like every day like i get like dozens of messages like people are like because i'll like suggest something on instagram or like this is done third and people will literally ask me so many questions they're like how do you do this like what do you recommend for this like what skincare for this like what kind of food do you recommend for like what kind of grocery store do you recommend to buy this or like i'm sorry like these are random like examples but it's literally so true like i'm not even joking and like i literally like will have the answer for them and do all this stuff and like this is like the kind of influencer that like I kind of would love to listen to like I don't I'm kind of sick of like type of person who's like oh I'm gonna sell you this thing that like a hundred million people already have and it's like okay you're not really giving me any value in life okay done with that rant but yes guys um I kind of got like off of it because I didn't get famous after two videos either that's well, I kind of got off YouTube. So, also, I'm going to keep it up now. I saw one YouTube guy, he said, if you do 30 videos, your analytics or your algorithm is like better and it kind of shoots out to more audience and all this stuff. So I'm gonna really try to like put more videos out there. I have to come up with content and I really need you guys help. Oh, please just tell me like what to do. Everyone's like, do makeup, do makeup. I'm like, oh my God, like seriously, I'm not teaching anyone how to really do makeup. I barely can do my own damn eyebrows. Like I change my makeup skill, like set or style every day or like how I do it. And sometimes I'm like, why did I even do that? That was so awful. Anyways, um, but yeah, I'm gonna cut this short cause also I suck at editing videos. So like the less editing, the better. Like literally if I could just like put a video there I'm good if I could just like yeah if I could just upload a video <laughs> that was my nephew
anyways if i could just upload a video straight to youtube like literally if i could just do it on my phone and do that you know that would be great because like i literally suck at like editing like oh my god and the editing app i have sucks like oh my god i need to get that apple one i forgot what it's called anyways guys um this has been really exhausting every time i tried to record this last week and I had shadows all over my face it was just really bad i don't know i looks kind of bad i like i feel more confident today when i'm recording this so i like it and then i like had a migraine today i'm getting a migraine recording this i think it stresses me out a little bit more than i like but i like this outfit speaking of fast fashion i'm sorry this is a fast fashion suit it's a pretty cool thing i like it with the little labels i feel bad but it's really cute and it's harder to find suits with different with the pretty decent price tag you know i'm trying to save a little money i guess i didn't really need it you know what i also i also get my suits from goodwill and stuff and you know i just want to give you guys like really good tips as well like buying like discontinued makeup off of ebay or buying like guys i have so many good little like tips and stuff i swear to god like you'd be living like hot baller like i'm joking because like literally I don't live hard baller, but I've been on some good ass tips, I promise you. Anyways, guys, I think that's all I have today. Um, I'm gonna go raid my sister's pantry because I'm a little hungry. I've been working out at 6 30 in the morning too, guys. Like that is so unlike me. I'm trying to lose my LBs. Anyways, but yeah. That's all I have for you guys. Let's pray I get this video out soon and I get another one soon after that. Bye guys.